Welcome back to CI Living. It's the last day of travel week and we've decided to go out big. That's right. Joe Barlow, uh, we're talking castle big here. Now when I think about castles, I think of like anywhere overseas pretty much. Mm -hmm. Not here in central Illinois, but you actually tracked one down right here. Well, yeah. I mean, originally this castle was supposed to be a secret too. You weren't supposed to know about it, but uh, it's kind of difficult to keep a large castle complete with moat and working drawbridge a secret. So I headed to Bus Boom Castle thanks to a viewer submitted email. It was one of your fresh ideas. said, even my wife at the time, said, yeah, right, right, you're building a castle. I said, no, yeah, okay, like, it's a big house, you know, yeah, it's, a, but it's a castle. Welcome to Buzzboom Castle. The designer, builder, and master of the household is Bruce Buzzboom. After building all kinds of buildings around Champaign-Urbana, working at the University of Illinois, uh, restoring old homes, remodeling and all that, I finally decided it's time to build a new house. And I started flipping through house books, house plans, and they just started all kind of blending together. So I started thinking, dream, dream, dream house. And a castle popped in there, why not? I mean, the architecture's been popular for 1,500 years. Um, they're secure, they're strong, you know, they make a statement, and uh, I could live happily ever after, right? I started sketching and uh, drew my own castle with four towers, round towers and an open courtyard in the center. And then I did a material estimate, and then I started erasing and erasing and erasing. So I'm, I'm down to about one-fourth of the original castle. It took nine years and the help of friends and family to finally get the castle built. I would go to work at 6 o'clock in the morning, go in early so I could get off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I would come out here and work till midnight almost every day of the week. Uh, I was pumped. And, and, the, and the more it rose, the, taught, the higher it got, the, the more the adrenaline. Uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. The square footage is about 4,800, somewhere around there. The, the volume, though, is about equivalent to a, like a 7,500 square foot house because the ceilings are so high. But what's amazing is the heating and cooling is cheap because the walls are 16 inches thick, super insulated. I heat this place with a 95,000 BTU furnace and I cool it with a 24,000 BTU air conditioner. I'd come down in the morning, good morning, Mr. Knight, good morning, hello, hello. No response. So I named him Silent Knight. And I named him Nighty night. He's got a diaper on so he doesn't rust. <laughs> In hindsight, I could have, I could have lived with a, a house like the neighbors have, but I don't know. It was back here, secluded in the woods. Nobody was going to find out about it. It was going to be a secret, originally. But the secret got out, and and. Now the news crew is coming out and doing stories and everything. No one's ever going to leave you alone now. <laughs> Bruce does live in the castle full time, but it's also available to rent. When you visit, don't call him King Bruce. I'm not royalty. Uh, I'm lucky, I'll tell you that. I'm lucky to be born in America, lucky to be living here in central Illinois, lucky to find this piece of land out in Champaign County and lucky to have the health and the, uh, and the ability to, to do it. <laughs> Very impressive.
impressive. It was very great to be at Buzz Boom Castle and, and meet Bruce and uh, you know he had a little there's a lot of things that I couldn't show because there just wasn't time so I made three web exclusive clips of uh, around even the grounds of the castle there might be a pirate ship somewhere so there may or may not be a pirate ship. all right, <laughs> right. CI living TV or our Facebook page uh, to check the